So this is the project that's currently on my workbench. This is a 1 16th scale IMEX Taijin Panzer III Metal Edition. And I've done a lot of work to it and I did a complete uh, video build log as I was going. And it still has a ways to go. It needs a wash and weathering and all that stuff. But when it's done, I'll uh, edit the video and, you know, make it into a movie and then I'll post it. And as soon as it's finished, I'm going to clear my workbench and we're going to start working on this. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is an SDKFZ 250 half track from Armor Hobbies in 1 6th scale. Uh, I've already picked up a, a pack 36. I think it's a 36. I had to check um, to pull behind it if I want to. But uh, this little half track is going to be the next project. Now, if anybody is thinking, and <laughs> this guy's going to need some help with this one, <laughs> you're right. You're absolutely right. This, this is the instruction sheet that comes with it. Okay. And I'm going to RC this bad boy. <laughs> and that's going to be a project. But right this minute, I already have to say, seriously, thank you very much to Rivet Counter. He has already been indispensable. Uh, he's provided me with links to uh, builds of guys that have done this already. And uh, it's going to be a project. Uh, these are the tracks. <laughs> and there's the hardware for them. Um, it's, these tires, I'm already pretty sure, are going to have to go there. Uh, the way they sit on the rims just ain't right. I don't know. But uh, like I said, Rivet Counter has provided me with some really good info. And there's one guy that has already done this that used a differential and a uh, cordless drill or cordless screwdriver motor. And um, I think I'm going to copy his method. It looks pretty good. And Rivet Counter's already told me where to get uh, better tracks for it and, you know, stuff like that. It's going to take um, probably at least a year. And uh, I'll do a complete video build log on it so you won't see it again for a while. But when it's done, I'll post the whole deal. And uh, it's going to be an adventure, fellas. This is going to be my first step into 1.6. I was originally going to start with either a Kubelwagen or a Jeep. And I picked up this uh, Dragon Africa Core Kubel with the balloon tires. But I've also picked up a Dragon kit. And between the two of them, I'll be able to RC a good Kubel out of that. And uh, possibly a Schwimmwagen. Probably not this one. This is the 21st century. And I found out the hard way that uh, this is not, uh, not, a great, um, not a great subject for RC. But uh, Dragon makes one of these too. And if I can find one, we'll see. But this is going to be the project. The SDKFC 250 half track. And it's going to be something else. There's front suspension. Road wheels. More road wheels. Sprockets. Those are the fenders, the long pieces. Axles. Even comes with Pioneer tools. I've just started messing around with one six scale figures. I think I did pretty good on these. I've kind of set myself a rule that I won't spend any more than $25 for one of these. And uh, so I've only picked up uh, three. I picked up some for a really good deal and sent them down to Master Sergeant Mike for his FAMO, which is just incredible. And that's kind of one of the goals. I'd like to get this thing down to Kentucky one day when it's done and get some video of it running with some of Mike's stuff. And someday, I will do a 1-6 scale Tiger 1. So that's the project that's coming next. See you next time.